out. Certainly a recording of Bach's Loot Works isn't going to justify itself as a world premiere recording. I don't think there's been any music in the plucked repertoire that's been recorded in more. But much as I'm curious to hear a new piece, I react to the notion that the only interesting thing on the CD is the composition performed. Um, perhaps it comes from the reality that, unfortunately, so many CDs of the same repertoire sound almost identical. But I grew up listening to the late guitarist Julian Bream, and when you listen to him play, well, of course you appreciated the music, but you also appreciated his fantasy, his musicianship, the way he coaxed so many different sounds out of the guitar. And not all of them were beautiful, thankfully, but all of them were a contributing element of his interpretation, and they moved me when I listened. Um, yeah, by, by extension, he also made you fall in love with the guitar, because these wonderful performances were intrinsically linked to the instrument that he played. And even though I'm sure you would have been an incredible musician on any instrument, I think the fact that he chose the guitar made him play in a certain way. Also, maybe as guitarists and lutenists, given that we play repertoires that often aren't as intellectually admired as those for some other instruments, perhaps we're also encouraged to appreciate just how important the actual interest, instrument is in when you perform a piece and the impact that piece has on the listener. Unfortunately, I think that also lute and guitar CDs often tend to have quite homogenous sounds without insulting absolutely everyone. But I think that there's an awful lot that, that can be done with these instruments, more like Bream approached the guitar. And of course Bream adapted the works written for him by the likes of Bream, so that they would suit what he saw as the guitar's strengths better. Um, for this recording, I've either made my own where they didn't exist, or I've followed adaptions a bit like Bream's by two lutenists from the 18th century who, who um, well, one of them certainly knew Bach. There is a tendency today in performers to rely on a thorough analysis of the score, believing that if they're acquainted with the form and compositional devices, the performance itself will be affected. And Bach's music is extremely attractive to this kind of approach for obvious reasons, but I think it's really unfortunate for the music itself. Because an approach like this, I think it confuses our role as performers with that of the composer. Except, of course, that the composer has to actually create something from scratch, and we're basically reinventing the wheel. It's like walking through a wood and not seeing the trees. After all, the only thing that isn't a variable in a performance is what's physically written on the page we play from. And if we go for a walk and walk the exact same route every time, we see completely different things. I think it's therefore better to focus on the wealth of details that do depend on us, and I also think that that's where the wonder lies. And it's that intuition that turns everything from just notes into something that moves us. And Bach's music is like this too to me, and that's why I love it. Of course, there are plenty of people who have played this music beautifully and who have inspired me before I've tried to do it now. But even though it's fascinating and inspiring to see how lutenists who knew Bach approached his own music, and how central the lute's characteristics were to these adaptions, I'm not the first to have played from them. And in any case, I can't pretend that my motives weren't entirely selfish. Of course, I hope people will like it. It would be sad and pointless if not. But in the end, it was a challenge for me. It's a milestone of where I have come on my personal journey with the music that, with the music that I love and on an instrument that I happen to spend.